Hey what's up guys, Codeforge here, welcome to the next video. Today we'll build greeting application for the Android device. On the screen you can find the final application which we will build today and we'll use few basic components from the Android and it will be edit text component for inserting the greeting. We'll have also the button component which will replace the text view component in the middle which is responsible for showing the greeting. So for example, we can say hello world instead of the hello Android, we can click the read button and we can see that the text in the middle has been replaced. So now I will create a new project with the empty activity and we will get started. In the first place, we want to select file, new, new project. We are selecting empty activity, we click next. And we will change the name of our project to Greeter App. And we can simply click Finish. After a few seconds, project should be generated. And it's over here. And now we have to wait for the dependencies installation. Okay, so it looks like it's ready. And let's make it smaller and let's move to the activity main XML because in the first place we'll take care of our UI. We already have the text view in the middle, but it's a little bit too small for me, so let's make it bigger. We click on the component over here or on the component tree, and we have to find the text size attribute. And the easiest way is to use this search over here and to say text size. And you can see that it is 14, let's make it 36. Okay, looks good. We will also need component which will allow user to insert the greeting and we can find it in the palette over here on the left and we can click on the text category and we will select the plain text so we can drag it and we want to drop it somewhere over here. We'll change the name of this component because it's a little bit too long and it's the unique ID for this component so we will get rid of this text size from here and we can see that this ID is too long so we'll change it to the edit text and we'll hit enter. We will also get rid of the default text because now we have the name and we want to make it empty and display the placeholder or the hint. So in the first place we'll get rid of this text from here and now we can see it's empty. And before we will add the placeholder, let's first add the constraints for this edit text component because we can see that we are getting the error over here and also over here in the constraints. And we'll add the constraint of the 16 from the left and 16 from the top. And by the way, this 16 is expressed in the unit of measure that is called DP, which we can see over here on the right. And it stands for density independent pixels. Now we will also add the hint. So the quickest way is to find it and we'll say hint. And now we can see it's empty and it will be type your greeting and we hit enter. But even if we do it, we are still getting a warning and we can read that we are using the hard-coded string and we should use the string resource. So let's copy our hint from here and we'll navigate to the resource and it will be values and strings XML. We want to open it and over here we'll add a new entry. So we'll go under the app name, we'll open a new string tag with the name greeting int. We'll close the tag and we'll paste our value from the hint. We can go back to our activity main XML and now we can click this small button over here. And here we can pick a resource. So we'll select our greeting hint and we'll click OK. We can see that hint didn't change, it's still the same. We can see it over here in this editor. But over here on the right, we can see that it is coming right now from the string XML resource. But we are still getting warning 
and we can read that we are missing autofill hints attribute. And to add it, we will go to the code view of our UI. And we can see that it is a sample XML and here is our edit text component. And it is missing the autofill hint attribute, so let's add one. We will go over here under the hint and we'll say Android and it is autofill hints and we'll give it a value of hello world like this. We can go back to our design view and we can see that the warning disappeared. Before we will add the button component, let's first change the ID of the text view because I want to start it from the lower case. So we we'll want to select it, we will remove this hint from here and we'll say text view in the ID field. Now let's add the button component which will trigger our logic. So we want to select the buttons from the palette and we'll add simple button so we want to click it, hold it and drop it somewhere over here. Let's add few constraints so we'll click the plus over here and we'll select 16 dp and also for the right margin and now it looks better. Let's also change the text which is displayed on the button. So we want to go back to the strings.xml over here and we'll add a new entry and it will be string and the name will be greeting button and the value will be greet. Now we can go back to our main activity. We can select our button and over here in the text attribute we want to select a new resource and we are selecting a greeting button and we are clicking OK. Let's also change the ID so it will be simply button. OK, so everything looks good. Our design phase is done and now we can move on to the main activity class where our logic for this view is living. We will not modify on create function, we will add our send greeting function and later on we will attach it to the greeting button. So it will be triggered whenever a user will click the button. And to attach function to the button we have to first create it and we will use the fun keyword which stands for function and we will give it a name of send greeting. And now if we go back to our activity main.xml and we'll select the greet button and we'll look for the on click, we can see that there is nothing to select. And this is because our function in the main activity must accept one argument which is view. And this type of the view. So we have to add the import for this type and now if we go back to the activity main and we select the drop down we can find our function over here so let's click it and right now the send greeting method will be triggered each time the user will click the greet button let's take care of the logic for the send greeting method in the first place we have to retrieve the greeting provided by the user from the edit text and to do it we have to first get the reference to our edit text component so we have to create a variable which will store this reference we will say val greeting edit text and now to retrieve the reference we have to call find view by id method and we have to provide the type for this generic method so it will be edit text and now we have to provide the id so we want to say r.id and the id of our edit text is simply edit text also i'm missing the semicolon at the end and where this edit text ID comes from, it comes from the activity main.xml. And if we click our edit text uh, input component, 
we can see that the ID is the edit text, so it is the same. And now we can retrieve the text from our edit text component. So let's create another variable which will store this value. We want to say val. And the variable name will be greeting. And now we can use the greeting edit text reference. And we can access the text attribute from there. And also we'll call to string method. So this is how we want to retrieve the text from the edit text component. We'll also need the reference for the text view component, which is displaying the greeting in the middle because we want to replace the text with the greeting provided by the user. And we'll do it the same way like we did it for the edit text. So we want to say val greeting text view. And now we can use the find view by ID method, but this time we'll do it for the type text view. And now we can retrieve it by using r.id.text view. And same story here, y text view ID. And this is because if we go back to the activity main.xml and we will select our hello world we can see that the ID is text view. And the last step to achieve the greeting functionality is to replace the greeting from the text view component displayed in the middle with the greeting provided by the user from the edit text component. And we can do it by using the greeting text view reference and accessing text attribute and now we can simply assign to it new value which comes from the edit text and we store this value in the greeting variable and this is pretty much everything to provide this greeting functionality but at the beginning of the video you also saw that over here i had some logging so let's add it also here in the first place, we will create a tag and tags are especially useful when you are working with the bunch of activities. And to create this tag, we will say private const val and it will be uppercase called tag and we'll call it main activity. So it is the same name as the class of this activity. And now we can simply log it. So we go to the bottom over here. We say log. We'll use the info level of logging. And now we have to import it also. It comes from the Android utils. And now we can say tag. And now we can provide the message. So let's say it will be sent. Greeting has been clicked. Like this. And now we'll start our application on the emulator. And if you don't know how to set up the emulator or the um, device for this emulator, I encourage you to check out my previous videos about the Android Studio configuration. I have configured the emulator for the Pixel 2 API 30. And now to start the application, we can simply click the play button. After a few seconds, emulator started and it's over here. And if for some reason your application is not open yet, you are probably somewhere over here. So you want to navigate to the app view and from here you want to select your greeter app by clicking it. So let's test out our application. We'll provide some string over here and let's say hello Android exclamation mark we are clicking the grid and we can see that the string in the middle changed let's also change it to the hello and let's again click grid and we can see that the hello appeared we can also check out if our locks are working so we want to open the lock cut over here and we can see bunch of informations but if we bring our application again and we'll click grid we can see that our message over here has been displayed from the main activity. So logging also works. 
okay so this is all for today thank you for watching and also i would like to ask you for the feedback regarding the videos from this series if you want to see more let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this one remember about the liking the videos and subscribing to the channel bye